Okay, before we get started and uh, start playing around with PG Admin, I want to take just a couple of minutes to talk about sort of the concept of databases. I find that a lot of people have a hard time sort of conceptualizing what a database is. You know, it's sort of an abstract, abstract thing. It exists often up in the cloud. You're not quite sure what it is. Uh, what is a database? And I found this is a, a pretty good way to explain just what a database is. Here I've got Excel. This is just a basic spreadsheet. And most people are familiar with spreadsheets, uh, pretty basic. Basically, this is a, a database, really. When you get right down to it, a database is just a collection of information. And that information is sort of contained in rows and columns. So this is a row and this is a column, right? So in database terms, we call rows records, right? And rows go together. So everything in this row goes together. This is a row for John Elder. This is John Elder's email. This is John Elder's age. This is John Elder's address, his city, state, zip code. Everything in this row goes together. Now, everything in this row is different. Every column is different. This one has text. This one has numbers. You know, those are different types of data or data types. So when you're dealing with data databases, it's important to understand the different types of data types. And generally speaking, data types fall into a couple of categories. You have text of certain kinds and you have numbers of certain kinds. There are other data types as well, and we'll probably talk about that later. You know, dates, um, things like that. But really, it's just strings of text and numbers. And columns designate those data types. You'll notice everything in this column is a first name and everything is of the same data type. Columns in database language, I guess, are called fields. So columns are fields, rows are records, records and fields. And anyway, columns, like I said, they have to have the same data type. And things in each column don't go together, right? Here we have Johnson, Smith, Elder. Those are three different people. They're not the same person, but they're all of the same data type. And they're of the same thing. You know, these are all last names. You know, this column right here, these are all email addresses. They don't, they don't belong to the same person. They belong to, you know, in, in this case, three different people, but they're of the same data type and the same uh, sort of thing, right? Uh, same thing here, age. These are all numbers. They're all ages. Each age belongs to a different person. So if you think about, if you're sort of confused of what a database is, this is all it is. A database is just a big thing of this. It's just a big spreadsheet. Um, it has a little bit more functionality than just a basic spreadsheet, but databases are made up of tables. In this case, this whole thing is the table, all of these boxes, right? The Excel itself is the database, right? But think about a spreadsheet. You don't really do anything with the database itself. You're doing all the stuff here in this table. You know, you're adding stuff into each row and column. The database itself, you don't really ever do anything with. It just sort of holds all your tables. And that's true for Postgres, MySQL, any sort of database. A database is just a big container for a bunch of tables. And, you know, like down here with Excel, you see these different sheets. If we click here, we have another sheet. And we can put all kinds of new information in this sheet too. Same thing with this sheet. These are each tables. And a database can have as many tables as you want. And in our case here, you see we have three. You know, we can easily add more if we want. Same thing with Postgres or any database you work with. You can have as many tables as you want. You might have a table for past customers. You may have a table for future customers, you know, leads that you haven't converted yet. You might have a table for newsletter subscribers or email list subscribers of some sort. You might have a table of customers who have taken you up on a special sale offer or something. You know, you can have dozens, hundreds, thousands of tables and they're all contained inside the database. And the database itself, we don't really do anything with. It just holds everything. So anytime you're gonna do something with a database, what you're really doing is something to a table. And what you're really doing to the table is something with a row or a column. And rows are records. They all exist um, together. So everything in this row belongs together. Everything in this row belongs together. Tim Johnson, Tim Johnson's email, Tim Johnson's age, Tim Johnson's address. They're all Tim Johnson things. Uh, columns, on the other hand, are of the same data type and uh, of the same thing, right? They're all 
addresses. They're all ages. And if you just think about it like that, that's all it is. That's all really databases are. The act of putting stuff into these tables, these columns and rows, the act of taking things out, creating little reports based on the stuff that we pull out, that's all databases really are. That's all they're really used for, and that's all we really need to learn what to do. So and that's what we're going to learn throughout, uh, throughout the rest of this course, how to do those different things with Postgres and uh, SQL. Now, the language, the sort of programming language we use to do things like that is called SQL. It's called, uh, it stands for Structured Query Language. Every database has its own sort of little version of SQL. Postgres uses Postgres SQL. So we'll get into all that later on. Um, but yeah, that's really all there is to it. So if you're confused about databases, hopefully now you have sort of a better uh, picture in your mind of what a database is. And it's, you know, it's a lot easier to be able to visualize a spreadsheet when thinking about doing things with databases, because that's something tangible. You can go, oh, yeah, I know what a data or I know what a, a spreadsheet is, rows and columns. That's easy. Um, and that's all databases really are. So in the next video, we'll dive in. We'll start learning the Postgres uh, PG admin system and uh, should be fun.